want to make a quick video about my FN, FNC. First things, I know this ain't for everyone. A lot of people like their machine guns in their uh, original factory state. For me, I like to make them my own. That's just how I like to do things. Plus, more function, better too. Um, also, don't have my form for yet. That's why you don't see my pin for my sear. Uh, I am waiting on that. That's why I bought the rifle and sear separately. Because I knew I wanted to tinker with this thing. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear it for y'all. Alright, so we're clear. Um, it started its life as a paramodel uh, with a side folding stock. Um, wanted to keep the kind of same same thing going with the new stuff. Just wanted to add a little bit more versatility. Went with the BCM gunfighter stock on a lage side folding canted 5 degree cant uh, side folding adapter. Um, so far I love this thing. Let's me use the rifle just like uh, it's factory configuration allows the full reciprocation of the charging handle uh, so I can fire while the stock is folded um, Moving forward a little bit more. We got the uh, AK MOE grip on here um, Didn't require too much modification, but it did require some Dremel work on the inside and lowering this front shelf To allow the uh, retention of the trigger guard like the factory grip and I had to redrill a new hole to get it located on the receiver correctly um, So that's that up top, we got the EOTech EXPS3. I may be changing this out, hopefully for an Alcan Spectre DR, <laughs> but we'll see. The uh, Picatinny rail up here is from Stormworks, as is this actual adapter right here that allows me to run my Lage side folder. Both these parts from uh, Stormworks. They're really good quality parts. I, I have other stuff from Stormworks and other builds, and I really like it. Same with the Lage stuff. Really like their stuff. It's good stuff. Uh, up here, I got the uh, AR-15 Odinworks extended magazine release. Had to do a little bit of work on this to get it to fit the recess in the, uh, the FNC receiver because the original AR-15 mag release button doesn't fit inside here. So I did have to radius that down a little bit, recerocoded it, had to drill a hole through it so that it was a pin-on button instead of a uh, screw-on button like a factory AR-15 mag release. Um, had to shorten these two bolts so that they wouldn't hit the pin. But other than that, that is a much needed improvement. I do suggest a lot of people do that if you have problems reaching your magazine release button like I did. I got small hands. Don't laugh. <laughs> uh, I got the factory charging handle on there. Um, did a burnt bronze tungsten Cerakote on the upper receiver and hand guard. This has more tungsten in it than this one. Wanted a little bit of contrast. Uh, I like the way that looks. Uh, I got a Patriot Brown and Armor Black uh, Cerakote mix on the lower receiver. I really like the look of that. Got the BCM Gunfighter Mod 0 or 3 uh, Vertical Grip M-Lock uh, variant. Um, not sure which which uh, mod it was. I think it's Mod 0. Might be Mod 3 though. Don't quote me. Uh, that's attached to the uh, FAL uh, M-Lock rail from Aim Sports. Um, this required uh, required quite a bit of work to get uh, to work on the FNC. I'll put a little more uh, of a detailed description down below. Um, basically, I had to cut all this off here so that I had clearance for my uh, adverse condition gas switch. As you can see, worked out pretty good. Had to cut a little bit off of the hand guard so that it would fit into this collar right here. Also, as you can see, works pretty good added a uh, recessed bolt here that goes all the way through to the other side and I drilled and tapped so that the bolt would pinch down on the front gas block applying firm pressure making that a real solid lockup. Um, I had to dremel uh, some of the front of the handguard so that it would clear the uh, front gas block pin where the normal factory handguards would clip onto. Um, after I did that Instead of worrying too much with the way that looked, I went ahead and just added some QD sling swivel uh, attachments up here, threaded and tapped the handguard and drilled those right on. Um, got those on both sides, so it's ambidextrous, basically like a scar. I know a lot of scars have those QD swivel, uh, swivel attachments up front. Um, I did change the factory threading on the barrel to one half by uh, 28 so that I can run a standard bird cage flash hider on there just until I get my form four back for my sear and actually drill out and machine that out and install that. 
then it'll be a machine gun and I can cut the barrel down to around here and thread this in towards this collar right here and run my uh, dead air Sam NK suppressor pretty much right up against the gas block, which is the look and the form factor that I'm going for. Um, as far as magazines, I can run standard GI mags. Uh, I don't normally use green followers. I usually use the tan ones. They're better. Um, runs the Gen 3 and Gen 2 P mags, no problem. Eats up everything that I put in it with those. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just go ahead and post them up in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Also, don't forget to check out that description in the video uh, for the video. Um, I will probably answer most of your questions in that as well because I couldn't fit it on the actual video itself due to storage limitations on my phone. Um, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Again, uh, like and subscribe. I do put some other videos on here as well uh, that you guys might want to watch if you enjoyed this one. So uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good day, guys.